What's good, Ken Gonda? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk, the pro black version. Guys, I haven't, you know, done one of these on this channel for a long time, right? Because we've been so busy, you know, doing a lot of video work, you know, a lot of in person stuff with the podcast. Uh, I forgot about y'all, but. I got um, a particular inbox the other day on Facebook from a brother who brought me to the attention of K and K squad. And I want to leave their channel. The first comment pinned to the top and want you to see their channel. All right. And I want to talk about this. I really, really, really appreciate um, them because they're an African-American family. It seems like they're from like maybe the DC area. I can tell by the accent. I don't know if it's DC, Chicago, Baltimore. It's something like that. I don't know where, but their family, nice family moved to Ghana. And I, and I, it's six of them, right? I came across this video called, I'm ready to go back to America. And I'm gonna play a part of that video. And she's talking about the frustrations that she's having in the crowd, like, can't find something things are expensive and um you know just having a horrible time repatting and, and people are attacking them for talking about their experiences but i think that a lot of times when you pick a place like this and you don't know a whole lot about what's happening um you're gonna go through things like this right i, I go through them here in uganda uh but i want to take a, a a time to play this clip and then after that I'm gonna come back and, and, and give my thoughts. Good morning, YouTube. I tried so hard to stay here in Africa, but I really think my time is up now. I had enough. I cannot afford to live here. I feel broke and I feel poor in Africa. I feel like I'm gonna be out there selling some shit soon because this ain't making no sense to me. I pay $130 a day to drive around in a truck with no fucking radio. I pay $100 a day to live in a two bedroom in the six of us with no hot water, no stove, no refrigerator. The refrigerator broke. And it's 100 John Cena's. It's 100 John Cena's a day. And oh it's God. what? No. It's not a hundred John Cena's a day. I'm sorry. It's a hundred U.S. dollars a day. What the fuck are you doing, Mona? Then on top of that, I got lizards crawling in the bed with me. I got fucking a whole uh, infestation of ants. It's infested with bees. The house outside flooded yesterday. Then on top of that, don't not to mention we have no hot water to wash our ass. They talking about some take a cattle. Put it on the stove and warm the water up. First of fucking law, I live in America in a fucking mansion and we don't have to fucking uh, put no water on the stove. We got steady hot water, steady electricity, and the only time our electricity get cut off is when we don't pay the bill. And we got it so good now, we got prepaid electricity, so if we forget to pay the bill, we put some money on that prepaid thing and it comes right back on in two minutes. In less than two minutes. This shit right here didn't come on for 14 hours yesterday. I can't deal. I love the people. Don't get me wrong. When I'm outside, I'm having fun. I love the people. But when I come back to reality, when you come back home, home is where the heart is, right? When you come back home, you're supposed to feel comfortable. You're supposed to be happy. I'm not happy. Every house I look for, the house is expensive as hell. Oh my God, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, a million dollars. So guys, you heard what they had to say, right? And I want to give a shout out to Wody Maya. Um, he says, where are in Ghana are you? Send me your location and we'll link it with you soon. So you heard their problem. And, uh, and Wody Maya is gonna, is gonna try to go out there and help him out. I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I know that he will, right? But I want to talk about, you know, moving to a country on the continent of Africa I don't know if they went before, but not knowing anybody, not having um, having your expectations set. And shout out to Sankofa Repatriation. 
Uh, I don't know if if they had if they knew about that or if they had reached out to people, if the expectations were set, but it seems like it wasn't. And what happens is, is that when your expectations are not set about where you're going, you're gonna have problems. And problems like this is like, you know, the power goes out, it's expensive. Do you have the budget to live there? Do you have the resources? And you know, Accra, Ghana is more expensive than let's say some other cities, Johannesburg, all right, it's cheaper. You know, West Africa is more expensive anyway. And then the fiber internet is not so readily accessible like it is, you know, like in Kenya, like it is maybe even in Tanzania. So when you don't, when you don't really know what's going on, it, it can become a hassle, especially when you move your whole family because you really believe in what's going on. And you, you might pick a country because you know what, everybody's going there. But that place may not be for you. For me, I've picked Uganda, all right? And do you know how many times I've been to Uganda? Eight different times. Leaving, coming back, right? Finding out a problem, finding out an issue, leaving, coming back. You know, on the eighth time I found a shipping company, UG Unlocked, on the eighth time, right? Building a team, building a support system. If you have friends, if you have a network, if you have family, if you can leverage people. So you need all of that because, you know, she's talked about she was in America, she lived in the house and the mansion and all this stuff. It's not the same way when you come. You know, you have to have all of your, you know, all of your things set up until you're ready to move. And if you're not ready to move, if you don't have these things set up, you're gonna, you're gonna have problems. Now, I think that, um, you know, they're a really great family, in my opinion, because I saw some of the other videos, you know, they're just talking about their experience and stuff like that. And, um, and they're trying to, I believe they're trying to work it out and stay. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to work it out and stay, you know? And they weren't talking about, you know, talking down on the people or talking about it, you know, they didn't like the people. No, they, they, they were just talking about their experience. They actually liked the people. So I want you guys to go out there and support them, you know, their African-American family, um, support them, go check them out, subscribe to them, tell them that King Gonda sent you and, you know, give them encouraging words. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of our brothers and sisters out there that are trying to repack, they're going to find it hard. And I think that they'll be able to, um, you know, make a life for themselves out there. They'll be able to, uh, you know, do things. They'll be able to get things straight out. I might, I might try to reach out to them if we can get an interview with them. But I believe that what they're trying to do is they're just it's going through the growing pains. And, um, you know, I've been through similar growing pains in, in Uganda, you know, going out, power went out. You know, sometimes I've, I've had power that goes out for 30, day, 30 hours, 15 hours. But you know what? Um, I will say this for anybody repatting and experiencing that. Remember why you why you came. All right. The reason why you came if it's worth starting, it's worth finishing. You know what I'm saying? You going, you know, for me, when I first came to you guys, I didn't like, it, you know, but you know what? The opportunity is better, right? In certain aspects and you can, you can do that. So, you know, stay focused, try to work with people. I tell people all the time, go to the co-working spaces, um, deal with people in the professional communities, deal with people in the local communities, get connected, get all the information so you can have your expectations set. I think a lot of times what's happening in the repack communities is a lot of people are just talking about the good things happening in Ghana and then they're talking about the bad things. People need to have their expectations set, guys, right? Expectations need to be set about what's really going on in these places because people are just hearing about, oh, I want to get away from the white man. Uh, you know, I'm going to get away from the racism. But when your expectations are not being set, you're going to have problems. So guys, it's your boy. O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first comment pinned at the top. You will feed, find the black men their perfect t-shirts, guys. You will find that. You will also find um, not only that, the Patreon. Check out a whole bunch of stuff, guys. And as you know, the buffoonery always remains at an all-time high. I'm out.